Hello, my name is Mark from JazzGuitarLessons.net and you're watching the JazzGuitarLessons.net vlog for June 13th. Treize, 13. We have a beautiful word in French, one word, treize. Um, I guess it's like you guys' 11 in English. Anyway, so we're June 13, 2017. This is a quick update. Uh, so moving into the studio, people have been following me online. It's 90% done. This is a new place. This is the new studio. Uh, you don't see all the boxes and stuff that's left, but uh, very comfortable, very echo. So I will soundproof this place. Um, have uh, have to tip my hat to Louis, Louis Etienne, great friend of mine. He came here and left his drum kit. And I've been playing drums, like funk drumming for about a week or so. I suck at it. I'm really bad. But I love practicing drums, so thanks for that, Louis. And also, I want to give you an update on what's coming on the vlog, or I would say on the more official content video releases on YouTube, where it's not like me, you know, slice of life here. So what I've been doing my moving and lessons. So um, it's an update in the format, and I want to teach you a lesson on a certain lick that you might have learned that I can, you know, just ruin, ruin it immediately. Spoiler alert, this is the lick. to D7 to G major 7 and you can add a flat line it's the flat line of D7 so we'll use this as an example now uh, just for a few minutes so I can convey to you my new vision for producing video contents blogs online with a more streamlined approach instead of being me uh, or anybody being inspired by an idea or answering a question I'd rather have it be prepared and in a way that I'm sure you guys can take advantage of it. So here's the point. First, uh, I think I'll call this uh, hands, and I'm, I'm prepared to get your questions and comments. That's why I'm shooting this vlog now, which is semi-formal. See, yeah, I'm just in my t-shirt. Uh, I want to call this hands-on jazz guitar because most of the content on the website is more in the description. Oh, this is this scale. This is that. This is uh, this series of blog which I hope will start in in July will be more hands-on as in play that thing and make sure you have it under your belt before watching the rest not theory or anything just really licks oriented or even copying licks you know chords and stuff like that arpeggios parts of solos uh, and the whole three point part I got from one of my favorite motivational authors Mark Allen uh, and he says all right, say so you learn a lick, right? So you you will learn this first chord is A minor seven. So the first note is the fifth, right? And you go down A minor arpeggio seven. So E C A G, and this is the third. So re you resolve to the third of D seven. So A minor seven to D seven, you play like. Then you go, you climb back up the same note during that D seven chord. So once again, and you resolve this to, this is the fifth of a G major seven chord. So what Mark Allen would say and how I, I want to frame this new content series on the website is first, you learn the lick as it is, wherever it comes from, this is it, play it, play it well, it will appear on the screen. And then the second step is, well, what is the information we have here? So information is your first step going, well, the information is this is the fifth of A minor seven, this is the third of A minor seven, this is the root of A minor seven, it's the seventh of A minor seven, going down to the third of D seven, up to the fifth, flat seven, nine, three, five, seven, nine of D flat seven, and result to the fifth of G. So I'm going really fast because there's more to it. So information is, pretty useless until you turn this to knowledge. Knowledge is that place where you're like, hmm, I want to take this information and carry it so I can build more lines around it. So you can compose lines using tiny variations on this. Either the chords will change or the lick will change. Say the lick changes a tiny bit. So, a one, two, three, four. Sharp nine, flat nine, fifth. That would be one variation. Then, as a viewer, as a YouTube viewer, or blog reader, you'd be invited to create three of those, and that would be what I call the intermediate step. You know, the beginner step is just play the line as is, as is, um, 
uh, imitate, do not try to make something up, just imitate, then make three lines out of it for yourself. And then the last step is, once again, information turns to knowledge once you can play with it and make your own versions. And knowledge becomes wisdom once you can put that into use in your own solos while you improvise. You don't even think about it, you wing it. So, uh, one, two, three, four. from this idea and personally was able to expand it because I, I have a deep knowledge of that. Like, so uh, the lick itself is step zero, information, knowledge, wisdom. So that's it for the jazzguitarlessons.net blog. So it was part of an update, uh, part of a, I wanna share with you what I had in mind for future content production. Of course, uh, further updates we have, uh, what do we have? Wow, busy day. Uh, teaching, that's for me here. So you, don't, you can't see that, it's not public. Uh, I have my right arm fellow Nathan will, will be in town here. There's the webinar next week. We have office hours for members only in about two hours. And we have Improv 102, that's a biggie. Uh, Improv 102, 102 is the sequel, of course, to Improv 101. Uh, Improv 101, had, we received rave reviews. We have hundreds of students in the past few months taking it. It's based on the three pillars of improvisation, which uh, I did not talk about in this video, but the three pillars is the philosophy we use on jazzguitarlessons.net to teach improvisation, to segment what you're working on and not overwhelm, you know, like, here's a chord progression, take a solo. It's more like, okay, pillar one, you do this, you outline chords, and pillar two, you do this, pillar three. So it makes makes for a more enjoyable and more segmented ride to uh, th towards jazz guitar improvisation mastery. So what else do we have? Members, office hours, webinars, Improv 102. What did I miss? This new way of thinking that I'll think I'll be calling it Jazz Guitar Hands-On. If you have anything against it, uh, please raise your hand now or stay. <laughs> Don't say anything forever. What did they say in weddings? Something like that. Uh, so thank you for watching. Sorry about the rambling. Uh, this is the new Jazz Guitar Lessons.net studio. Improve your jazz guitar playing with a real teacher and I will see you soon. Take care.